Over 30 county commissioners, mayors, and engineers from all over the region met in Brainerd today to discuss issues regarding transportation funding in north central Minnesota. Our Logan Gay was at the Association of Minnesota Counties seminar and has more about the statewide transportation needs. Many towns across north central Minnesota are experiencing difficulty finding funds for their transportation needs. All of us are in desperate need of additional dollars. Our uh, infrastructure is crumbling. We're absolutely unable to do anything new in transportation, so we're in a preservation mode. And with the dollars that we have been given to this point, we can't even preserve what we have. Many of the attendees were disappointed that local representatives opted not to attend the meeting. I don't think this is new to them, so yeah, it's disappointing, but uh, they will hear us. And the local option sales tax has been a big part of the discussion regarding transportation funding. The problem is that many of the smaller counties are not benefiting from the tax as much as others. Local option sales tax has worked for some of the regional centers. St. Louis County is benefiting uh, to the tune of about $14 million a year. In small counties, my county as an example, it would be less than uh, three quarters of a million dollars a year. A road to build costs about $300,000. So in my county, that would build two miles of road. During the meeting, they encouraged everyone to write to their local representatives to express their concerns. If they don't hear from you, the grassroots or the real people out in their districts, then they have the tendency to go with what the caucus wants them to do. So it's always been my thinking that it's better that our representatives do what we want them to do rather than what the caucus may want them or tell them to do. They are hoping for a comprehensive and balanced transportation funding package in the near future. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The Association of Minnesota Counties plans to continue the discussion in future meetings. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.